67 year old from St Helens up against the Jermaine Watimena. Smith's last two defeats on the European Tour have been to nil. Although in Zvola he was struggling health wise, having been diagnosed with pleurisy, he may well have had the forthcoming Premier League finals on his mind as well. But after swelling his bank balance by 120 grand or so and making a couple of quarter finals on the Pro Tour, Smith has had almost three weeks away from competitive darts and it may well have done him the world of good as he looks to defend the title. He won here a little over 12 months ago. That said, a fairly tricky looking assignment's ahead of him this evening against a man who has suddenly discovered the art of reaching the final day, making the final day of these European Tour events. He's reached the last 16 on each of his last two visits on the European Tour stage. Jermaine Watimena did lose to Michael Smith in the last 16 in Sindelfingen as well. Will that have any bearing on this outcome in particular? Dan Dawson alongside me, Rob Bolaghi as well. Game off. Well, it is the machine gun who's going to kick things off as he looks to derail the defence of the title on the very first hurdle. Michael Smith winning here in Gibraltar last year. Beat Mensal Sulevic in the final. 55. Having edged his way through every single round in last leg deciders. A resilient display from Michael Smith. 96. Here on the rock last year. One. Plenty of support for Michael Smith here tonight as well. I think I am right in saying that the break will have done in the world of good. He was clearly, well, I was going to use the word desperate, but he was very keen to play in the World Cup. He was trying to do all he could to qualify and make himself, or get himself into a position to play in the World Whoa! Cup for England at the expense of Dave Chisnell. It wasn't to be, but I think that may well have worked out in his favour, given the chance he has at a an opportunity 96. to recharge his batteries over the last three weeks or so. Spending a lot of time with the family, so I've seen on social media, taking his son to the first St. Helens match of his life, which was no doubt a landmark occasion in the Smith household. Rugby league, we're talking here, by the way. 22, Michael, you 120. Certainly looks a little bit brighter than he did when we saw him in Zvola. 100. So what a minute for a break, oh, sorry, for a hold of throw and double 16 is found and the Dutchman draws first blood. That's her other defeat to nil that I was talking about, by the way, was, uh, well, there was the 6-0 defeat by Stephen Bunting in Zvola, which we referred to earlier during Bunting's match, and uh, there was that 7-0 hammering at the hands of Michael Van Gerwen in the semis in Sindelfingen as well. Yeah, but in between, he did have a 60. stunning Premier League campaign. And he has 100. won this year on the tour. One of the handful of players to have beaten Michael Van Gerwen as well. He's been playing some really, really good stuff. And it all started 60. for Michael Smith here in Gibraltar last year after that real struggle for a good year where he was struggling to win his board. You know, turning up at Pro Tours, going out in the first and second round repeatedly over and over again. He kept putting in the hours on the practice board. Things weren't getting better. As I say, a battling performance 100. to claim this title last year was the start of his road back to the top of the game. And that's where he is. He's a top ten player. Yeah, number eight on the order of merit right now. Number three on the Pro Tour order of merit. Seeded two 77. here. Domain you require 120. Well, this is for a break of throw. He's done the hard part. That's, the, that's a great marker as well for double. 100. Michael, you require 147. He's probably going to come back, though. Definitely now. 102. Domain you require 20. There, you and the there is leg. the break Jermaine for Jermaine Watermain. A double 10 is found Third leg, Jermaine, at the first the time of asking. And so far, so good for Machine Gun. Well, Michael Smith's aim this year was to win four titles, trying to better his previous tally. Got one on the first weekend, which was obviously a great start. That was in the UK Open qualifiers, the perfect start to his campaign. 96. And uh, now has two titles under his belt after winning a Players' Championship event, Players' Championship 7, where he beat Adrian Lewis in the final. His first 
Players' Championship title since Benny Dorm in 2012. Yeah, he's been quite good at picking up Euro Tours. 100. But those Players' Championship events not really been, well, hasn't been 96. dominating them, but he has been threatening them. I mean, he's had three finals this year. Obviously, the Premier League final, that uh, European Tour final against Hop, against Max Hop. And 140. final in the very Maybe first UK Open qualifier of the year. So, I mean, he, he could have hit his target at five already. Yeah. 96. And he probably feels he should have won in Saarbrücken. Well, this could be 50. 3 0. The defending champion is in all kinds of bother. 34. A let off. Michael Leopold, 68. Are you sure yeah, the third Smith leg? Smith and Thompson Michael have found, Smith. and Smith is off the mark with a break. Full back on Michael turns, back on track at 2 1. Game on. Yeah, it did look to be in a great position for a third title this year in Saarbrücken against Max Hopp. He averaged an incredible 107 in his 7-1 demolition of Ian White in the semi-finals. Led 3-0, 5-2 and 6-3 in the final against Max Hopp. Before Hopp staged that incredible fight back. 192! Right back at you. 192. Great response from Jermaine Wasamena. Well, he talked after his first round victory against Tony Dawkins that he felt he has to have more aggression in his game, particularly on the stage. Try and let his opponent know he's there. 59. Bring something out of him. Find a new level. He's a four-time semi-finalist on the Pro Tour, Jermaine Wasamena. He's yet to go and make a final. Just looking for that extra percent or two here or there 59. that could carry him to a first Maybe PDC title. One hundred and two. My blue four. One hundred and twenty. So Shanghai for Smith to level things up. Watermaner waiting to pounce on sixty-five. Smith is not going to take out 60. the one twenty. So a chance for Watermaner to break straight back here. He's got the twenty-five out of the way. One dart left at Sots. You're showing the fourth leg, Jermaine Watamina. Fifth leg, Jermaine to throw first. Game off. Seems to be a very confident player, or a much more confident player right now, Jermaine Watamina as well. I think though, you know, we talked at length earlier this year about the fact that he, he'd never made the final day of a Euro Tour event. He's done it twice in back-to-back -back tournaments now, and I think that will have well, done in the world of good. He, he clearly feels now that he's capable of doing serious damage and going deep in a tournament like this. 100. Yeah, certainly. I think he's getting better and better. It's not been a rapid rise through the PDC ranks for Jermaine, but it has been a steady improvement <laughs> over the last couple of years. And he's zeroing in on a spot in the top 32 in the world 134. rankings. 134. And you know, the, the, the progress is going in the right direction. It may not be as quick as he would like, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can keep going. Keep finding ways to get better. And ending the defending champion's hopes here in Gibraltar this weekend would be another step in the right direction for the machine gun. Yeah, he's clearly thinking very well as well. He got down to 170 with uh, a nice touch. 20 for Tops for a 4 1 lead. 54. Two treble twenties will leave double fifteen. I'm pretty sure that's the route he go, but we'll never know. Sixty. It's not quite there for Michael Smith tonight. Not so far, anyway. Fifteen. Although Smith may well be given a helping hand here. Matamena just inside the wire. Thirty away. Double fifteen. Takes it out first time of asking. Yeah, he's got absolutely no fears about that double. A lot of players find it awkward and don't like leaving it. Michael Smith has no bother at all with it. He's right next to his favourite double, double ten. 100. Smith back on track once again, but still with work to do. Well, Watermain is certainly having his chances here. 3-2 to the good, but he could so easily have been... 
four once at a good, maybe even five nil, he could argue Well, he as missed well. two darts in that third leg. He's just missed four darts in the 100. previous one. So, yeah, he will genuinely feel that he could be five nil up here. He's three out of 11 on his doubles and still averaging 93, which is a good three or four points higher than Michael Smith, who's only been allowed three darts at double in this game. 44. Ninety-six. Michael Smith, a former World Youth Champion, of course. We have got the development tour going on in Wigan this weekend. Martin Schindler having won 97. the first one. They are playing the second one. And Germany's number two is through to the final. He's taking on George Gardner. Schindler's beaten the likes of Roby John Rodriguez, George Killington, Bradley Brooks. He's averaged 105 and a half in one of his games. 100. He is having a magnificent day, is the wall. Didn't qualify for this one. It's all on Max Hopp, the German host, this weekend. And, well, it's going pretty well so far for Max Hopp. 100 average in round one and a 6-4 win against Ian White. And the defending champion here is just about staying with Jermaine Watermainer, but he is not convincing. 130. Yeah, Vaisal Watermana made a strong start in this leg. He just lost his way during the course of that one with one or two sluggish visits, but that's more like it. Good solid start to get things going in this seventh leg. But look at Michael Smith in response. 140. 140. Plenty of room for one more. One yep. Right in the middle. 180. Third 180 of the match. 97. 100. Maybe for 190. Well, plenty of options here for Jermaine Wasserman. Plenty of time on his hands as well. I think that's straight into the single two. Yeah, with. Michael Smith not on a finish. Um, if you're going to go bullseye first dart, I don't see why you don't, don't go for it again if you hit the 25. Try and leave yourself on the top. Because all of a sudden, there's a very different complexion on this 46 for Jermaine Watermainer. But despite that complexion, despite the pressure, he finds double 16. Michael to throw first. Game on. Stopping Michael Smith in his tracks there. Two legs on the bounce for Bully Boy, but Jermaine Watermainer responding in kind with the seventh leg. 100. Well, Michael Smith did win every single game in a last leg decider last year when he won the title, apart from the final, which he won 6-4 against Mensor. So he won't be panicking, but he'll be more concerned that he's not playing 100. how he would like. The average is only down in around about the 91 at the moment, and that's not what Michael Smith expects of himself. And certainly that first nine needs to be much improved from Michael Smith. He's one of the biggest scorers around. One hundred and eighty. Third one eighty for Michael Smith. Oh, no, it was in, it was out, hung about for a bit, and then it dropped. Michael Smith, one hundred and twenty-one. Well, it almost rolled along the barrel of that second dart, didn't it? But uh, Michael Smith on track here. Ninety-six. Almost taking out the bullseye. That's in. So's that. Oh, what a steal that would have been for Jermaine Watamena. That would have been, oh, that would have been for a 5-3 lead, and he would have been throwing first. Double 10 for Michael Smith. 20. Not there. And Jermaine Watamena on 19. 19. Three for double eights. One more dart in hand. Sure the Watamena does lead 5-3, and he will be throwing first next for a 6-3 scoreline. If he can get off to a solid start here, who knows? 100. Well, I think Jermaine was a 3-1 to one outsider, I think, at the start of this match. Yeah, thereabouts. 93. And he may be about to upset the odds and knock out the defending champion. Previous winners of this tournament, Phil 95. Taylor. Well, he's not here. Michael Smith, obviously. He may not be here for very much longer. James Wade, we only saw him edge through. This afternoon against Ross Smith. 96. And of course, Michael Van Gogh and he gets his campaign underway against Vincent van der Voort this evening. 
58. Romain Watamain has beaten Michael Smith once, but he has lost seven times. The 100. one win that he did have was back in October last year in Barnsley on the Pro Tour. It was in a quarter-final, so that's one of the four times that Jermaine has made a semi-final in a ranking event. But he's lost both times they've played on the European Tour. He lost at the UK Open. He's lost in various other Pro Tour events over the last couple of years. But this is very nearly win number two for Jermaine Watermain. A one-match dart. Goes begging. Will he get another one in this leg? He may well do. Yes, he will. Smith missing treble 18. So Wasamena with three darts at double 10 for a 6-3 win. Double five. Ten. Champagne's, Champagne's on ice for Wasamena. She can't believe it. And neither can he. Yeah, Smith counters all Michael over that. Smith. Gobbles that one up, gives himself a lifeline. Ten flag, Michael to Needs to find pass. something more. Gets the break. Needs to hold and then needs to find another break, if well, he does. Now, as I recall, despite the fact that Michael Smith 55. went to last leg deciders in every round apart from the final last year, I don't think anybody got match darts against him. He was in trouble at times, obviously. They were tight games. But I don't think anybody missed match darts. Jermaine was missed four. And with Smith having to throw here, and that ton 40 makes it more likely that he holds for and takes us to a last leg decider. You saw Jermaine's reaction after missing those three clear darts at tens and fives, has he got the mental fortitude to see this out after that disappointment? Well, visits of 58 will not help him. Oh, but that is absolutely sublime from Michael Smith. It really is. Have a look at that. 57, 57 96. bull to leave 142. Could look at two treble 17s here. He does. To leave tops. Oh, surely. Six oh. darts of sublime brilliance from Michael Smith. 57, 57 bull, 51, 51 top. Magnificent. Brilliant stuff from Michael Smith, it really is. And he's clearly got the momentum now. 100. Some plays a turn in the decider. Who will blink first? Who can steal a march here? 58. 58 again from Watamena opens the door for Smith potentially. Those two visits at the back end of that leg not only level the match up, but I think it's the first time that Michael Smith's average has gone above that of Jermaine Watamena. It may not matter. This is tight. 137. Wow, this is really a spin of a coin job, isn't it? Another one of those would do in the world of good. It's just 96. A little grimace from Michael Smith on his face there. Watamena still has the advantage, you feel. Certainly has now. He has missed four match starts already. He should get at least one more. How many darts will you get for this match, Jermaine? It is only one more. That's all he needs! Jermaine Watermaner closes it out. Michael Smith will not defend.